Okay, good evening, everybody. Hopefully it's evening for you and that uh, greeting will uh, work out well. But if not, well, good morning or good afternoon. I uh, would like to go over episode four. Finally, uh, it's been very busy. It is uh, the end of Thanksgiving weekend here. So for everybody who's Canadian, happy Thanksgiving. Uh, we have a full weekend, uh, Sunday and Monday, where we sort of celebrate uh, Thanksgiving here in Canada. So it's the end of that, and I wanted to get to this before the week starts. This um, this clip is a 48-second clip. It's longer than the other three episodes, uh, but I couldn't figure out exactly where to cut it because it just looked like Lena was having so much fun hopping and bouncing around and um, and having a good time. So uh, let's watch this through in normal speed and see how we do, uh, and then we'll check it out in slow speed. And I'll give you my thoughts on, on what I think is going on. <laughs> we obviously start off with Gracie uh, sending these two a little bit. And then Lena starts hoppy skipping around. Gracie paws the bridge. Luke's chewing on a barrel. She sends him a little. He goes off to go see Lena. Gracie moves in. Gives that little kick. And Lena's bouncing around still all over. Gracie'd like to go with her. And then, kapow, off they go. A nice run by Lena. Gracie's sort of all over the place, not sure what to do. Luke goes on the other side of Ruli. Lena says, ah, better not. And then heads off with Gracie. And that's the real quick version of it all. Um... A few great comments uh, on uh, Gracie's position on the totem pole kind of idea, the hierarchy of horses. Didn't know that she could push other horses around. Um, she can and does. Uh, I don't know if it's any with any good accuracy. Uh, I feel pushing horses around, especially for myself, I want, I want to be able to push them, but I want to be able to draw them. And what we do see a lot here is uh, inaccuracies in that regard. Um, so the idea being that you wouldn't want to be Gracie. You don't want to be that ho that human or that horse. And there's lots of lots of horses and humans out there just like that. So I want to reiterate um, what this series is about as well. Some really great comments, good observations. I'm not saying anybody is right or wrong outside of being um, super subjective of what the horses are thinking or feeling. Those those ones we have to be cautious of because um, we're sort of we, we could very well be placing our own thoughts and emotions onto the horse. And that's called um, you know where where you're where you're placing what you think and what you feel uh, onto the horse. It's called anthropomorphism. Very common very common thing to do. Uh, and we want to try to stay away from that as best as we can. And the reason we're doing this is because we want to understand more and more when a horse does something to another horse, when they do it to a human, what should that mean to them and how should we react? So to be able to recognize each of these behaviors, uh, whether they're trying to ask us to come to them, whether they're asking us to leave, whether they're uh, asking us to possibly play or or they're uncomfortable or fearful. All of these things are are important to to recognize. The best way to catch this stuff is literally to watch horses with other horses. So without any of that anthropomorphism, we're going to try to objectively look at these behaviors. So let's check it out in slow motion because um, the uh, and I just have to mute it on my side. I really like the music. I hope you, hopefully you guys did too. I have to mute it on my side or I'll get distracted. So right from the beginning, um, we can see Gracie moving in quite, uh, I'm not going to say, I, I don't know if I would go so far as to say it's aggressive, but I would say it's very forward, very, almost very confident, um, which sets Luke backwards. And a couple of people have commented on what he's doing with his legs. He's just trying to itch his tummy. He probably had some flies. They all had some flies. You see how much their tails are swishing around. Um, and there's a different swish for, for flies than, than there is for uh, when we see them swish at another horse or when they swish in frustration or irritation or anger, perhaps. So those will be different. But what Luke's doing with his leg there, um, and if you're new here, Luke is the middle horse, the brown, dark brown horse. 
He's trying to kick at something at his tummy. So while he's busy doing that, you can see his tail is moving to do the same thing. Gracie on the right-hand side, uh, light brown chestnut sort of horse is moving in quite quite forward. Um, and she regularly tells Luke where to go. So this isn't really unusual for her. Uh, but if push came to shove, Luke would stand up and he'd probably send her. But he, he, he doesn't do that. It's really quite rare to see that. So it's hard to say if she's up upper or lower on the hierarchy other than she is 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 very her intent is very strong she's coming in with a very strong attitude and she's quite confident in in her effect so that's something to really observe in horse with horses and what they observe in us doesn't matter how we you know what kind of day we've had or how we feel or you know any of these things, it's all always going to be about our intent. So if we were to grasp anything from this little tiny bit is the way that Gracie does walk up with intent to move. Um, there's no slowing down of her feet, her ears and her head. Everything about her is just forward. Uh, it's a straight line. Uh, the others start to back away. And Luke has a pause here. You see he's still distracted, I guess you could call it. Uh, he's still trying to get at his tummy, and Gracie sees that as a problem, and you can see she slows her steps. Something to think about that I caught a long time ago uh, when I was watching some Buck Brenneman thing, and he had commented on, you know that a horse is going to kick or it's going to do something when they slow up, and they, they sort of get their targeting system going, and it slows down their feet. They can't do two things at once multitasking so they'll slow up and they'll get really accurate with their targeting and that's what's happening here we can watch just roll it back for a second here um and we can see gracie coming in step 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 right all these steps are about the same amount and then luke has a little pause he's about to kick gracie sort of slows up here and then strikes um it, it's a subtle shift in speed. There's the slow up, actually. There's the pause. There she comes in. And strike. So Luke knows it's coming. If we, so we've, we're watching her. We see her, <laughs> we see her get ready to do that strike. But Luke knows it's coming. He can see the intent. As she's coming in, he gets one last kick up into his tummy. He knows that she's coming in. She's about to come in right about now. He's already evading. You see how his head is about to go up and he's getting off of his front end. He already knows it's coming before we could probably grasp that. And so Gracie does what's called sort of a, like a bowing up of her neck. She bows her neck and uh, brings her nose in and she's very high. Um, she's got a lot to say. And uh, um, she's striking, obviously. So Luke leaves. Now, Lena, let's just roll that back one more time, because this one little interaction kind of sets off a bit of a chain of events that happens here. So it's important to understand it. If you see a horse coming up to you like Gracie, you've got a problem. If you have a horse that is Luke, when you walk up to them and you have intent to move them and they go to move, you've got a compliant horse. Um, if we go back a little bit here, and we watch Lena, she's got her ears back, she's looking behind, she's seeing what's going on, she does see Gracie sort of wandering in. So she's going to leave, because Luke is sort of stepping backwards as well and getting out of her way, hopefully, for his sake. Now he goes to leave, Gracie kind of gets what she wants, and she's ready, you see that back right foot kind of come out? She's ready to follow up if Luke was going to give any trouble, because his tail is coming over to... to probably swish her in the face. So she's getting ready to bring her back in over where her right back right leg is coming out wide. And her head is going left, her nose is going left, her back right foot is coming out wide. Luke's leaving though, so he's not putting up a fuss. So at this point, he now has a bit of draw with Gracie, so she draws to him, her face follows. Important to note, Lena's gone. <laughs> she says, I'm out. This was a rather playful day. Um, I don't know what it was, the weather or something about it. Um, so at this point, Luke is telling Lena, keep going. I'm going, you're going, we're going together. And so he'll drive her on a little bit quicker if he feels like he needs to get out of there. 
And they generally leave Gracie in the dust. They don't hang around with her, especially when she's being a bit a bit weird. So, so he's nip, nipping at her legs. You can see that. Now, the interesting thing that I always think when I watch these horses do this is quite often um, the one that's being nipped will actually hip check. <laughs> You'll see Lena's hip go into Luke here. Watch this. They're going forward. Luke takes a little nibble at her back left leg. Right, and she moves her hip over to the left, and her tail's coming up. So here's where we can see, if we look at Lena's tail, it's coming straight upwards. So that's a, a tail of irritation, and saying stop it. Now she's going to hang right, because that's where Luke's telling her where to go, and he's really up beside her, and. Here's something I really want you guys to pay attention to. It's important. Um, we talk about it an awful lot. We talk about horses uh, stepping in time or uh, matching feet and humans as well. well. Watch Luke and Lena. Quite soon, they start to step in time. And they go together. It doesn't last long, because um, I don't think Lena's thinking about that she wants to be with him. She does it just briefly, and then hangs a hard right, because Luke starts to speed up a little bit to cut her off. But she can't go right, because Gracie's in the way and putting up a bit of a wall there. So this is where uh, it gets a little bit fun. And I, I wouldn't be able to say that I have any idea of why Lena started doing Hoppy Skippy. Um, she does this once in a while. I'd say every couple of weeks or so, she gets pretty playful and she starts to get a Hoppy Skippy. I don't know if it would be anything to be construed as, as that then that she's moving her body to possibly get the others to engage as well and run around. Let's burn off energy together. Once in a while, she kind of gets this way a little bit, a little bit of like a baby horse. Now, uh, let's let's just sort of stop for a second, come back. So Lena's leaving, right? We we definitely know for sure Lena is leaving these two. Now Luke's chewing on a barrel, and Gracie's um, pawing the bridge. Uh, I don't know exactly why they paw the bridge. I do think it's a little bit for to attract attention, make a little bit of noise. Um, there's nothing on the bridge that they've ever got. Now, they're also she's also being affected by me. You can see her right eye and right ear come back. And she probably thinks she better get moving forward a little bit to stay away from me a little. And she's going over to Luke, and she's already telling him to get wandering on with a big head shake, her tail's all over the place. Um, and Luke leaves. Now, Lena's already, you can see her in the distance, still bucking and running around. And... I believe that, um, pause it for a second, I believe that Lena is simply trying to create energy or action for the purpose of draw, to play together. Uh, I don't know if there's any real strong um, sort of desire to do anything specific uh, other than something together, having a bit of fun. Uh, so nobody's gone with her, so she's going to hang a left and come back up to the top in a second. Um, I also wondered when I was watching this if she was looking for a place to roll. There goes Gracie to send Luke away, which is, again, where we started at the very beginning. She does a lot to just go and be with either Lena or Ruli, actually. It's another popular one. When Peggy was around, she'd be around Peggy. So here she's trying to match up with uh, Lena. Lena's kicking out and having a little bit of fun but i also think that there's a little bit in there where she's telling gracie you know don't get too close it's hard to say it's hard to say exactly as gracie kind of comes this way and i'm also coming to the right this way meaning that to the right uh lena hangs a hard left and uh, gracie tries to match up with her a bit here she's not trying to cut her off um she's trying to get ahead of her even and saying okay well come with me let's go together she's gracie i think has almost a false draw, not quite a good draw, but 
thinking about it. Now, just for a couple steps there, they actually had a trot together, but Lena picked up a canter. Now, Lena's canter is about as fast as Gracie's good trot, so they're going about the same speed here. Gracie's quite uh, athletic. She's got to get by Luke, so she goes, puts her head to the right, gives a little kick out, says, you scurry on there, brown horse, and uh, try not to anthropomorphize so much. But she's literally telling him to take off. Um, she's got some kicking up a little bit because she knows that Lena's coming up from behind. Uh, and I think that horses, when they're playing like this, when they're trying to run around a lot, they tend to not want to do it real close to each other, and they want the, a bit of space. Uh, so kicking and rearing and stuff like that gets that for them. No other horse is generally going to come too close to them. Now, here's actually this whole interaction here is kind of interesting. Um, so Luke is coming up towards Ruli, who is the horse at the far end. And he's got his head to the left, but he comes into the right to check in. He says, I'm going to come into the right. Ruli's got her tail flying all over the place because she's telling them to stay away. Ruli generally has... Um, a good impact on Gracie. In other words, she can tell her what to do. So if we watch what happens here as Gracie comes up, Ruli's uh, tail is, is coming up. Gracie has to stop, have a little buck, um, and uh, and get out her energy, I guess we would call it. And Ruli is just saying, I'm staying here. I can't go anywhere. She's stuck in the corner with Luke on her left anyways. So she's got to make a stance. And a lot of times, horse will do that with her tail, and they'll put their ears back and they will tell other horses don't come anywhere near. But this whole interaction still goes. This is still an important set of interactions in here because they've all come together. They've all herded up at the top. There's only these four in this whole arena and they've all come up to the top. Luke's come to Ruli. Uh, why? I wouldn't be able to say. I think maybe some peace and quiet. Um, maybe he feels like if he hung around with Ruli, he's got somebody he can tell a little bit better what to do, but he doesn't. Uh, so that they end up just sort of standing with each other, kind of quiet. Uh, and then Gracie and Lena walk off together after this little bit. Now, I do think that uh, there was a point in here that Lena was thinking that she'd go with Luke a little bit more, but with really in the way it wasn't worth it. It's not that she can't move really, but I don't think that she thought uh, she should, and it could have been from something Luke had said or done. It's hard to see from from this angle. Um, but there wasn't any draw there. So off she goes with Gracie, and they. Uh, uh, this led to actually, I think, the first or second episode where Gracie grabbed the rope halter from the barrel. Uh, but it was right after this part where they did that. But this whole interaction here near the end is 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 something to keep an eye on because we want to think about what horse do we want to be? Um, if we were standing there and we didn't want to get kicked, how do we be like Ruli where we just sort of flick our tail or something like that and say, don't come any closer. You can kick over there. You know, and she also says to Luke, yeah, you can come up and hang out next to me and we're going to be quiet together. Or do we want to be Luke where we go up to that horse that's telling another horse to take off, say, I'm going to come up next to you and we're going to be quiet together. Right. Or if you're if you are Gracie and you've got lots of action, you want another horse to move. If you if you become intimidated or or worried about the communication that's being given to you through a horse, and you stop and you just make a bunch of action and then walk away, you can see how ineffective it is. Lena's just she's playful. She's she's she was running around quite a bit. I'm not sure she had a particular goal. So. Yeah, the slow motion one was a little bit long. It's probably long to watch through, but very, very useful. It's important to watch what their ears are doing. Gracie's ears, she's sort of checking in with Lena to see if she's still coming with her. Lena is going with her. It's good. It's good for both of them. Uh, Ruli's got her ears back probably towards Luke. She's saying, you just stay back there a little bit. Whether she gets what she wants is another story, but he did sort of stay. We also have to consider what my position is in all of this. Uh, I'm a ways back or I'm a ways away. When I'm facing them, sometimes um, if I come in from this angle from the right, it could also mean to them that I'm driving them around in a circle. So it's hard to take out the human uh, aspect of 
of filming horses uh, in an environment that we also train in and play in and all that kind of stuff. So um, they could be moving simply because I'm curling around trying to get a decent shot of what they're doing, oh, which is just a nice, beautiful shot to watch. But you can see Gracie checking in with Lena to see if she's still coming here and there. Her head goes left and right. Her head is to the right here because she has to make it past Luke. And she's got her head to the right so she can kick left. And there comes the kick outwards to the left a little bit. And if you watch really closely here, um, you can see Lena, even though she's so far away, when Gracie kicks right there, you see Lena's nose go up, right? Even though they're nowhere near each other. Why does Lena's nose go up? They're 20 feet apart. All right. So um, another thing to think about, at least I think about, is how much um, sort of that vicarious living sort of thing. Um, there's no reason to lift her head, but her brain is just wired that way. You, you, when you watch it, you kind of, I feel, I find myself sometimes leaning a little bit. I'll be thinking about like, ah, get out of the way. And I think horses do that too. So this was a, it's a bit of a playful one, an interesting one. There's lots of little bits and pieces that we can get out of it. Watching tail movements, kicking movements, what's effective to make a horse move uh, or draw and uh, what isn't. So hopefully that was interesting and, uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one.